we're all growing older together. I mean, I, I thought it for a while when I'm sitting up on the stage and look out at an audience. And my crowds have remained faithful. They still come out to see us all the time. And I think they always will because they're that way. And we're all changing together, and I seem to reflect their feelings because I'm one of them. I just got out and got to do the things they all wish they could. So the only way I can share it with them is in songs and let them go put their Hawaiian shirts on and come out and see us and, and let them forget their problems for two hours. Forget your problems for two hours. That's Jimmy Buffett reflecting on uh, the career, uh, just an unforgettable uh, career. And, of course, uh, we lost him uh, at 76 years old, ironically enough, uh, on um, Labor Day weekend, uh, as he so eloquently uh, sings it in, uh, in, in Come Monday. That was uh, during an interview back in 1982. So, Ryan, uh, let's talk Jimmy Buffett, man. I mean, I know he's touched... God, who hasn't he touched? Uh, do you have a favorite Jimmy Buffett song? I don't really think, you know, if I was going to pick one, I would say probably Cheeseburger in Paradise. Mm -hmm. That'd be my, that'd be my song. Mm -hmm. You know, it is, it was a little bit special to my wife and I. It was um, kind of the first concert that we ever went to really? together when we, we were pretty early on dating. Um, so she was going back through photos and you can see how young and skinny and, how much more hair we I had <laughs> in those at, at, at that time. Um, but you know, it's just, he was just a great performer. He lived the lifestyle mm -hmm. that everybody loved. Um, a, a waterman, he, you know, he loved everything. Yeah. And you know, since, since he passed away as social media does, everybody posts their, you know, their tributes to him. Yeah. Um, and I, it brought up this clip that I had completely forgotten about. I saw it on, I think I saw it on Instagram somewhere. But it was a clip from Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and it's a very crude show, I would say that. But they're all sitting around the bar, and they're getting ready to go to the Jimmy Buffett concert. They've got on their, their parrot hats and their um, Hawaiian shirts. Mm -hmm. And one after one, there's, there's four of them, one of them's attending bar. One after one, they're all walking into the bar, and they're singing um, If You Like Pina Coladas and Getting Caught in the Rain. Yeah. The song Escape. <laughs> and they say, man, I really hope he plays this song. It's one of his hits. Oh. And the other guy goes, yeah, that would be great if he played that song. But that's not his song. So there's a reason you've never heard it because it's not his song. <laughs> um, and, you know, that it really made me, I was like, wait a minute, that's not his song? I had to sit down and, and actually go back and Google who actually who actually wrote that song. Yeah. But, you know, great that's, musician. Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's Rupert Holmes. Yeah, yeah. Great, great musician, lots of hits, and, you know, really, you know, kind of idolize that, that yeah. beach lifestyle, that carefree lifestyle that everybody wants to have when they hit retirement. Let's talk about that because uh, Jimmy Buffett, uh, his net worth was at a billion dollars. And that's, a, that's, that's an incredible, well-deserved man. I mean, he touched so many people's lives. But let's talk about that because he lived the lifestyle that we all want to live. Uh, when you guys are putting retirement plans together, you guys have to, to, to find out what people want to do, right? I mean, you, you got to yeah. say, Hey, do you want to live on the beach? Do you want to live up North? Where, what do you, what do you want to do here? Yeah, I, I think that, that, that's what takes most people aback when you come in for the first time and you sit down with, with Mike and myself. Most times when you sit down with financial advisors, they, they get right into, I'll call it the sales pitch. They mm -hmm. ask about, you know, look at my rates of return or what do you think a good rates of return? Look how good I've done. Mm -hmm. You know, this is why you should pick me type of thing. Whereas Mike and I, the, the approach is it, it, it's much different. It's not just about the numbers. It, it is about the relationship because it it is a marriage. You know, we want you to be part of the, the family, part of the pro status family for, for years and years to come. And so the, the first meeting in, in my mind is really getting to know, you know, who you are, mm -hmm. what you want from life and what you think retirement should look like for you. Because like I said, you know, we have clients that are with us for years and years and years. And I, I like to joke um, when people, you know, we do our advertisements, Mike and I always have suits on, um, you know, people come in the office and they're, they're often relieved to see that Mike and I are not wearing formal clothes and yep. i say well you know the only time you're ever going to see me wearing a suit and you're not even going to see me because it's going to be at your funeral <laughs> that's the only time i'm going to wear it but you know my, my point with that is that you know our goal is for you 
to be clients for life. So we're not just taking care of you, we're taking care of your spouse. Mm -hmm. And then when you pass away and ultimately everything goes to the kids, we want to make sure that the kids are taken care of, that they're not gonna make any rash decisions to kind of undo mm -hmm. all this planning that we've done, not gonna take any unnecessary tax hits and make sure it's, it's a simple and smooth transition for them because you know, you want someone to take care of you yeah. like family, your spouse like family, and your kids like family. And that is the approach that, that Mike and I and our team take here. I can pretty much guarantee that you're going to see Mike Kinnett uh, in shorts. Yeah. He was the last, last time I walked in on Friday. You know, he was here. Um, he just flown back from Florida. I walked in and he was sitting at his office in, uh, in shorts and flip-flops. So, you know, that, that's, that's, that's kind of how it's going to be. Don't the, put on pants if you come in to see us. <laughs> that's the Jimmy Buffett lifestyle. No, man, that's what we want. All right, but we got to get there first. We got to get to retirement first. And a lot of us are trying to save as much as possible. So I ran across this, uh, and I want to run this by you. Just give me a, a yay or nay here when I run uh, mm -hmm. a list of this, but it's where to put your money. There's a lot of people with cash right now that don't want to put it in the market. Some banks are offering CDs and money market rates of up to, you know, in the range of 5%, but what is the best place for cash right now? I want to get your opinion on this. Uh, again, yay or nay, uh, money market uh, mutual funds. Well, you said that dirty word. You said the word uh, mutual, mutual fund. funds. Well, you know, so <laughs> money market mutual funds aren't, aren't terrible because what I don't like about mutual funds is, is, is all the hidden fees and the, mm -hmm. the tax consequences that go along with it. But money market mutual funds, they're essentially just savings accounts, okay. uh, uh, checking accounts, actually. You know, your checking account at your bank or your normal savings account at your bank is going to pay you point zero something. That is what you're going to get with those money market mutual funds. There's no money market mutual funds out there that, that I'm aware of right now that, that pay anything more than that. So having your money in something like that, you know, is certainly not going to keep up with inflation mm -hmm. and it doesn't even cover the taxes that you're going to pay. So having money in those, those money market mutual funds really just is kind of going broke safely. All right. So thumbs down on the, uh, on the money market, uh, mutual funds, uh, treasuries. So you know, short term treasuries, T bills a a as they're called right now, I think are a fine place for the next three to six months, because that's kind of where you can get, 5.3, 5.4% interest on your money. Mm -hmm. And you got to remember it's for a year. So if you're getting a 5.2% rate and you bought a three month treasury bill, well, after three months, you're getting three months of 5.2. You're not getting 5.2. So you take that 5.2 and you divide it by four and, and that's what you end up getting. But you know, those are fine positions to own right now. If you have money that's just sitting in the bank, it certainly is an alternative for some of your money. You don't want to put all your money into something like that because you're tying it up for three or six months. Um, but you want to pay attention because as soon as the rates, the interest rates start to fall, the interest rates on those T-bills are going to start to come down. So it's it's fine for the short term, but not very much for the long term. All right. So I'm going to put a, a, a thumbs on a thumbs up on that with the caveat of you got to pay attention to it. Yep. Uh, short term bond funds. You know, bond funds uh, have been not the best place to have your money for the last two to three years. And it, it suffers from the, the rise in interest rates. Most people think that, you know, in my well diversified portfolio, I can buy this bond ETF or this bond mutual fund that owns these individual bonds and stock market goes up. I might make two to three percent stock mm -hmm. market drops. Mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to lose anything because bonds are, are safe or that's the impression that we've had on bonds for the last 30 or 40 years. But in reality, as interest rates go up, the prices of bonds fall. And it's something that we saw, you know, as soon as they started raising interest rates in the beginning of 2022, where bonds, that safe money, were down 18%. The overall stock market was down 22%. So, you know, that really wasn't the safe place to be. So for right now, as long as the Federal Reserve is raising interest rates, and continuing to push them higher, bond funds are not the place to be with that money you have just sitting on the sidelines. Okay, so we're going to go thumbs down on that one. Yep. Okay, uh, going over some better options for you to put your uh, to put your money. By the way, eight six six five nine seven ten forty eight six six five nine seven ten forty. If you have a question about this, you want to get uh, your uh, you know your retirement plan looked at and figure out your situation. You can call Mike and Ryan and get started today with that complimentary retirement plan and online at the SavvyInvestorRadio.com. Two left. Uh, structured notes is that a better place than uh, than a bank? 
Structure notes are, are, are something out there that that is certainly better than a bank or could potentially be better than a bank. And if you think about it, you know, much the way an index annuity work where it says, here's where the stock market is today and here's where it is a year from now. If the stock market's up, they give you some participation in the upside of the market. They give you the certain upside of the market to a certain percent. Okay. Or they just say, you know, the, the more recent ones that I've seen, the stock market is positive, you know, and it could be the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, the NASDAQ, whatever it is. If it's positive even 1% over the next year, we'll give you 7.5% on your money. Conversely, if the stock market is down 10%, you don't lose anything. So while it, it can be better than having your money in the bank, mm -hmm. you know, it really depends on where you feel the stock market's going to go. If you think the stock market's going to drop over the next year, well, maybe having something with a guaranteed interest rates that's paying you 4 or 5%, maybe even 5.5%, might be a better place to be in those structured notes. But, you know, if you think the stock market's going to go up, you can certainly make those, make money in those, and you make more money than you would in a savings account. So it's kind of a balancing act. You know, I think that what you do is you kind of split it between treasuries, some other alternatives, and, and these notes to give you some guaranteed money, some guaranteed interest, but yet still have access to that upside of the market. So for those structured notes, that's kind of a, a like that, you know, yes, no, maybe. It okay, can so be thumbs up, but you got to watch it. Yeah, sums up, but you got to watch it. You know, make sure it's appropriate for you. Okay, uh, guarantees. We all love guarantees. Uh, uh, MIGA. What is that? And is that uh, what do we need to know there? So MIGA, it, it's an, a newer acronym, um, but multi multi year guaranteed annuity. Essentially, what you're buying is a fixed annuity. A fixed annuity functions pretty similar to a CD, okay. except it's not FDIC insured. It says that you put putting your money away for two, three, four, five seven years and they're going to pay you some type of guaranteed interest rate over that time frame those are fine investments to be in as long as you're not going to need access to the money in that time frame because if you need just like with a cd if you blow that cd up early mm -hmm. they charge you a penalty with one of these annuities same thing you break into it early you blow it up and you don't get those interest you might even be penalized from that aspect so what do we want to go with uh my God, thumbs up thumbs down once again, thumbs up, but with that caveat, you know, they can be great tools, but make sure it works for your time horizon. And, you know, the caveat there is no matter what you do, there's going to be ups and downs, positives and negatives, pros and cons. That's why you need a team around you, mm -hmm. with you, in your corner, at your side, like ProStatus, like Mike Kinnett, like Ryan Herbert uh, and their team at ProStatus. Ryan, uh, when people come to see you guys, you guys are going to go through all of this, explain the ups and downs. You guys are going to give them a, a, a written plan for retirement, and all of that gets started by calling uh, you right now at 866-597-1040, 866-597-1040. And uh, what do you guys normally do here uh, as we normally open it up to our, uh, our listeners and our viewers? That way they can come and sit down with you and Mike personally and get this started. Yep, you know, it's, it's absolutely complimentary. You come down, you sit down with Mike, myself, and our team, and we will put together your very own comprehensive retirement plan customized just for you but it all starts by giving us a call 866-597-1040 866-597-1040 we're going to talk about the income that you want to have in retirement we're going to talk about the risks you're taking the fees you're paying we're going to show you ways to reduce your taxes we're going to talk about Roth conversion estate planning life insurance long-term care all those aspects of a financial plan all in one place 866-597-1040 866-597-1040 Five nine seven ten forty. We'll give you some time to call in and set that appointment. You can do that right now. Get started today. 866-597-1040 and online at the SavvyInvestorRadio.com. Again, that's the SavvyInvestorRadio.com. 